Hey guys, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and today what I wanted to talk to you guys about was building strength back up after injury. Now this is a very long topic and obviously where the injury is at is going to change your thought process or how you're going to proceed with what you want to do. The first thing that you want to do is consult a physician. You know, if you've hurt your hip or your knee or your shoulder, go and have somebody look at it that actually knows what they're talking about and get an MRI if needed and get an x-ray if needed to make sure that you're not having any structural damage that might need surgical repair okay there's a lot of stuff out on the internet that says well I fixed my knees by going you know squatting knees over toes and doing stuff like that that's not necessarily the case with a lot of people what if you have a bone deformity what if your ACL is torn or completely torn off what if you have a meniscus flap tear a very deep knee flexion squat is not going to be helpful for those areas one way shape or form at all so what I say is that make sure you go to somebody that's skilled and understands that once you have a physician's clearance and maybe it's been two to three weeks and you have some healing happening and you know that it's not something structural like a joint or a bone, the next thing you want to do is start back with light volume. So I would say anywhere from two to four weeks, you need to do things that you can at least do for 25 to 35 reps. That keeps the intensity low. The next thing I would say is don't do anything that you can't breathe through. That also reduces the stressing on the particular area, meaning if I'm bench pressing and I lock in real tight, I'm probably going too heavy for the restoration process to keep occurring. In my personal opinion, exercise can help heal your body faster if done in an appropriate amount, intensity, volume, and duration. The next thing is that try to not attack that muscle group any more than every 72 hours. You need a restoration period in order to grow and heal. This holds true for the highest advanced athletes in training, but also for people recovering and trying to get back to where they once were. The next thing I would say and the last thing I wanted to talk about is make sure that you have a six month to one year plan to build that back up. Some injuries take longer than others. I'll give you an example. In 2014, I hit one of the highest subtotals of all time. I squatted 832 and I benched 611 at 290 body weight. I get to the deadlift and all I have to do is pull 725 or 727 for the all time world record and I pull my right adductor and slightly tear it. Tore it to the point that it bled all the way down to my foot, but it healed. Now it healed in about six months. And then I started the training process slowly, but surely as I could move gently, as I got stronger and stronger, the next year I came back and broke the squat record again with 865.5. So getting injured isn't always a death sentence, but it can be if you think you're going to start right back to where you were. My point being is, is that my squat went back down to 185 pounds with limited range of motion until that healed. Once I got mobile, ability back. Then I started adding strength and about eight, nine months later, I was back to my former self plus 10%. So I'll talk to you guys soon. If you guys have any questions, please join Patreon where we'll answer anything that we possibly can and make sure that you're looking at the manuals and the membership site in order for you guys to train smarter so the injuries don't happen to you.